Hi guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo Dog. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here for a bit of a play around. I've got this old book, which I've had for absolutely ages. I've used it quite a bit. Um, oops. But I just got uh, a few pages left in it and I thought it's time to come on and finish the book up, to be honest. Um, because otherwise it's just another thing hanging around in my stash. And to be honest, why, why do that? So yeah, it's a lovely book. It's got lots of really, really nice images of birds, as you can see. So I'm going to just endeavour to kind of use some of these up. So yeah, just uh, going to kind of cut out and use the images kind of in different ways, hopefully. So um, yeah, let's kind of just take a few. I mean, this one, how beautiful is that? So let's use that one. I mean, ultimately, I want to use them all in the end, so um, it doesn't really matter kind of which ones we take, to be perfectly honest. Uh, we will take this one. I love these always, the um, kind of contents and the index pages, you know. Um, I just think they're really, really nice. Okay, then we've got this image here. So, yeah, let's get a start with these. I mean, to be honest, that's probably quite ambitious for one video. I have come to the conclusion that I am the world's slowest crafter, so uh, yeah, not really probably going to get through very much of this at all. So for instance here, I'm just going to tear around here, I think, like that. So I'm not kind of fussy tearing the image as such, but you know, I didn't want it kind of like too monstrous. So on there, I've got the like title of the birds. So I'm just going to cut that down just because I might want to have it on there. It is pretty tiny, it's got to be said. Um, so I might, you know, might decide against that, but. Well, to be honest, I might not decide against it. I might just lose it in between now and gluing it down. Let's be truthful. Let's be truthful. That's probably more likely what's going to happen, isn't it? So there we go. Right, keep that to one side. So all I'm going to do is let's cut this down. So this is some of my food coloured paper, which I thought would be ideal here. So I'm just going to make like a giant... Um... Do I want to make a giant journal card? Or could we have like a foldy foldy piece. Right, I'm going to make a giant journal card. The reason being is because I actually don't like this side of the paper. I mean, obviously that's kind of what happens, isn't it? When you, you know, dye papers, you're not going to necessarily get things exactly as you want every time. So yeah, that's kind of what's happened here. Didn't necessarily get it quite, quite how I wanted it. And um, it's just the luck of the draw. So I love this side, but yeah, not quite so keen on this side. So might as well, might as well use it up. This one here, obviously I've just got this image down the bottom, so I can take some of this texty part to just fill in in the back. Like that. Okay. Now just wondering. Yeah, I mean I want quite a bit of that green showing because I think the green is really nice on here. And actually I think I'm going to just ink it up before I put it down. So just kind of go around there a little bit. So, I mean, to be honest, it looks like I've got barely any pages left in that book. And, you know, to the normal person, anyone who's not a crafter or a junk journaler, they'd kind of think, oh, how long is it going to take you to, you know, use that few pages? Oh, in reality, that would probably take me a week to actually get through all of those different images and kind of do things with them. So, um, yeah. Kind of pathetic, isn't it, really? Should just kind of think, oh, well. Well, I mean, obviously not throw the book away. Gosh, no way. But yeah, I should probably just think, oh, leave it in my stash and come to it as and when. Because, you know, the likelihood of actually getting through it at any kind of, you know, proper, proper fast rate is, mm, yeah, pretty, you know, pretty ambitious if, if I'm truthful. Right, I'm just seeing what other bits I've got just floating around on my desk that I can just pull in. So I've got this texty page. Okay, let's just ink this up as well. 
just kind of, you know, putting a couple of bits in the background, really, so it's not completely plain. Again, you know, really not kind of worrying about how things are looking, because obviously the bulk of this is going to be covered up anyway by the image, obviously, so. Oops. Oh, gosh, I can't even pick it up now. There we go. Again, just kind of smoosh that glue out with my dry wipe. Right, I will just ink this up. Now, I'm wondering whether I should cut this down slightly more. Because it is quite big still, isn't it? Okay, let's go down this side. I don't really want to kind of tear the bird off, if I can help it. Well, I mean, obviously, I don't want to tear the bird off, because well, that's the point of the picture, wasn't it? But... You know what I mean? Okay, so that looks quite nice, doesn't it? Right, let's ink that up a little bit around the edges. Okie dokie. Yeah, like how that looks. So, yeah, we're going to put that down. So let's just get that glued down now. Like that. Plenty of glue. Okie dokie. Pop that down there. So hopefully I've got quite a lot of that nice book page showing. Because it is pretty, isn't it? Right, let me straighten this edge out because it's very crooked. And then I'll probably round the corner, I think, of this. And let me just cut that top part that's also very crooked. Oh my goodness. No better now. No better now. Oh my goodness, that's actually worse. Ah, it's getting worse every time I do it. Okay. Yeah, so I mean, this is going to be like a giant journaling card. That's fine. Um... Now, wondering if we might have... Oh, got this... Um, oh, it's a little bit too ginormous, maybe. I thought that would be really fun. Right, let's do... Yeah, I think that's just a fraction too big. Don't think this is any smaller to be honest because these are from my giant bows, but I've just got to see. How did I think that was any smaller? Like, what's wrong with me? Why would I have thought that, that was any smaller? It's clearly not smaller at all, is it? What is going on? Okay, right. No, that's no smaller either. Where's my ones? With the... Sorry, I just knocked my um, cup of tea that was beside me. I do apologise. Right. Hold on two seconds while I just go to my things that are on the floor behind my desk. Okay, what have I got here? Oh, come on. Come on, come on. I'm looking for my bows that are like two to a page. Oh, come on. I thought I was so organised, you know, and I'd printed out everything that I needed, but no, of course I haven't been organised. Oops, right, hold on, that's the door now, so it's going to be one of those days. Hold on. So sorry about that. Right, okay. So, <laughs> utilise the time while I stopped to um, grab the door to dig out a smaller bow, so a bit more sensible rather than those great big ones, which of course are then just all over the um, birds' faces. So didn't really want them like that. So I'm going to have that. Oh gosh, what did I do with that? That title of the bird. I said I was going to lose it, didn't I? Oh, there it is. There it is. So let's just pull that in. Okay. I mean, that's quite pretty, isn't it? And then what I think it needs is maybe a neutrally kind of label. So let's see if I've got any of my... Right, I'm so sorry about that. I hadn't actually realised, but the video had flicked off. Apparently my phone had run out of space, unbeknown to me. So I really, really apologise. Um, 
all I have done since the video flicked off was I've added this piece of doily down here um, instead of a label. I've put the bow on here with the, you know, the bird name across. I just trimmed down the edge slightly because I thought it was a, you know, bit fat. I've rounded the corners and then I just popped that little butterfly up there. And that's it. I'm just going to leave it exactly like that. So I think it turned out really, really pretty. So yeah, I do apologise that you obviously missed that bit. Right, let's do another one. So let's put in one of those other pages that we tore out from the book. <clears throat> okay, let's just put in this one because of course this is, um, you know, I've torn it down already. So I'm just going to, well, I say fussy tear. I'm not going to kind of fussy tear as such. I'm just going to, you know, just tear. Just tear around these. And then we'll just see where we can put these. So I've got a pocket that I thought might be suitable, you know, from some of our like pre-made items. So I've got this pocket here, which is kind of black, you know, shades of black and things. So I thought it might look quite nice on there. I'm going to have to take it down quite a bit. So oh, it will turn into a bit more of a fussy tear, I think. So Okay, okay, that looks nice, doesn't it? So let's just ink that up. Okie dokie, like that. And actually, I'm just going to ink around here because I'm feeling that this pocket's quite um, sort of white, actually, in comparison to to this. So. Okay, that looks nice, doesn't it? And then let's have some lace on here because oh, can't have a can't have a video without lace. Oh, I mean that's like massive on there. I realise realise that's massive, but let's just trim this down here. I might have to slim this down slightly more. Okie dokie, like that. Oh, how lovely is that with the lace up there? Okay, right, let's glue this down. Across there. So, I mean, it is overhanging, you know, the pocket slightly. I actually think that's quite nice. So, you know, I'm not going to cut it off or trim it off or anything. I'm going to leave it with that overhanging kind of effect. And yeah, let's have that lace glued down there. So I'm just going to glue that with my Fabri-Tac. Like oh, I love how that looks. That's just so gorgeous, isn't it? Okay, right, I'm just going to see if I've got any sort of black toned um, postage stamps. I'm sure I have got some that are, I mean, not necessarily black, but they're kind of greyish. So let's just have a look and see. Oh no, not in there. That's my blue ones, sorry. I think they're in with my brown ones. I think I mixed in the greyish ones with the brown. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's a really nice stamp. I'm not sure whether I can bring myself to use it. Oh, it's really nice. And again, I find myself now hoarding postage stamps. What is that about? I can't really tell whether this one's black or, or green, to be honest. Well, not black, but, you know, grey. Grey or green. So it's a grey green, let's just say. That's quite nice on there. And I wonder if we need a bit of doily or something on here. Or I've just got this tiny bit of newspaper. Oh, that might be too much having the newspaper on there, I think. Um, let me just have... Hmm. I'm in the middle of having my, my breakfast smoothie, um, which you could probably hear. I'm having to actually have it with a spoon. It's so thick. I really like the thick smoothies. You know, like if they're too thin and they're just like a drink, they don't really feel like you've had anything to eat, do they? 
but if they're kind of thick and then you eat them you know with a spoon rather than drinking them psychologically I feel like I've actually you know had something to eat then rather than just drink so oh, I love that let's just do a postmark um, over the postage stamp I think and then I think this one probably we could call it done so yeah did not take long to do this one did it oh my goodness how gorgeous does that look I love how that looks yeah really loving that one okay let's put that to one side so we, oh we've done two we've done two so perhaps I will get through more than these more of these than I thought so who am I kidding right which side I think probably this side now ooh, tempted to try and kiss cut kiss cut this I know I talk about this all the time but honestly I'm really rubbish at the whole kiss cutting thing I don't know why I just it kind of throws me because I'm not very good at being consistent with my thickness if you see what I mean I mean already I'm not being consistent but I'm just going to try it so yeah for me I just find it easier I think to just fussy cut you know right into the image but for this obviously I feel like this is just too delicate to actually do that I think I'd end up kind of having pieces dropping off so I think it benefits this one from being kiss cut out and if you can see I've already kind of matched up there I know I mean no one's probably going to come along and inspect this I'm wondering whether to cut this off otherwise it's making this quite long so I think what I'll do I cut it on there in the first place and then depending on what we're going to use this on I might decide to actually you know come back and cut it off so let's just include it for the moment knowing that we've got the option to remove it you know should we want to in a minute okay yeah I've been having those few smoothies for a few weeks now I must say um, I don't know whether they're really making me feel more energised or anything, but, you know, at least I am having plenty of my five a day. Well, plenty, I mean, I must be having all of my five a day, because I'm having about four of them in my smoothie, so, yeah, that's, that's good, you know, to be safe in the knowledge that, you know, no matter what else I eat that day, I've had kind of four of them already. Okay, right, let's get rid of this. Well, that doesn't look too bad, you know. I feel actually quite, yeah, quite chuffed with how that looks. Now, I did bring in some more pockets, but actually, I'm not sure I've got now anything that's going to... Oh, gosh, that looks terrible on there, doesn't it? Uh, right, let me just lean down to the side, because I've got a couple of other... Oh, I've got some other ready-made bits, but now they're not the right shape. Unless I cut that down. So I could have it like that. Uh, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. See, straight away now I've gone into dithering mode. So mm, let's have another mouthful of smoothie. Mm. I've got another pocket here. I could have it on there. I mean, I'm going to have to lose a bit of that bird. It's not quite right, is it? Looks better on there, I think. Um, right, okay. Woo! Let's go in and chop this down. Actually, I'm even thinking let's get rid of both of those. That makes it much smaller. And then here, oh gosh, what am I going to do here? just fold that up so I see roughly where it needs to go to I mean I could have it like that oh gosh it still needs to come down further look it was even taller than I thought to be honest let's have a look ah that's better that now fits on so yep oh well we've chopped it around and managed to fit them on after all so okay take this section oh 
Oh, well, that's quite nice, isn't it? I mean, to be honest, that's quite nice just with nothing else. But, and of course, we will put some other things on. But let's just use this as a kind of starting point. So let's put that down there. <clears throat> okay. Like that. Now, do we want to ink these birds? Oh, it's so tough, isn't it? Let me just ink this little scrap that I cut off and see. Oh, yeah, I do. I do, I think, because otherwise they're quite bright, aren't they? So, yeah. It's always worth just trying things out, isn't it? On just like a little scrap and things, because... Um, you know, rather than go straight in on your image and then think, oh no, I didn't want to do that. Just by testing it out on like the bit we've cut off, you can just then, you know, make an informed decision kind of thing. Okay, so that's really nice there. Let's have a look and see what else we want to put on here. Oh gosh, I'm back with those big bows now. Oh, let's cut this one down. Actually, that might not show up very much on here, so I might be better off going with this one. Ooh, that's quite nice. Do we want some more text in this background, do we think? Or maybe like doily or something? Oh gosh, that's super weird. Super weird, right, let me cut this one down. Again, I think this is probably too big for on this, but we'll just try it. I love kind of the statement pieces, you know, like just using really big, um, you know, pieces. I think just, yeah, it makes it really fun. It gives it a really kind of, um, wow, look at me, kind of appearance. Okay. I just, yeah, I think I like the drama, you know, like with the black, um, you know black lace and things that I just love using so much I think that's how I feel about the big pieces because they're like a statement piece and so there's a big bit of whoa look at that you know that type of that type of thing going on um yeah so it's always kind of a bit of a wow kind of effect I find oh that's quite pretty isn't it yeah, I really, really like how that looks, actually. Um, and again, I kept the, the little title of the birds. They're, they're goldfinches. I mean, I'm absolutely rubbish with my bird knowledge, so I had no clue what birds they were. Turns out they're goldfinches. Which I feel like, really, I should know that, because that seems like that's, that's a bird that everyone knows what they look like. No, not me. have those there do I want a piece of doily or anything in that background just have a bit more of my smoothie sorry about this mm. oh that's so yummy so yummy um, just seeing whether I want anything else I mean I've got some more doily actually just see whether a bit of doily might be good on there Oh, I think it's probably too, too coffee dyed, this one. Let's just see. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Yep. Really like how that looks. Okay, right. Let's just get this down. Okay. Let's just... Press that down like that. Okay, then we're going to glue the birds down. Okay, so I just used my Fabri-Tac for that coffee dyed doily because I know I've talked about this before. I feel like the tacky glue, it marks the doily and um, yeah, makes it have a kind of, oh, I don't know what to describe it as, but um, yeah, it marks it anyway. So it then has a sort of discolored look you know, once it's dried. So that's why I've used the Fabri-Tac for the doily. I'm then using the tacky glue though for the, you know, for this bird image. Let's put it over the top. 
okay so yeah just in case you were wondering you know why I used different glue for different bits that's why and then I'm just going to have the oops let's move that down a bit just going to have the name of the bird to the side here Oops. Like that. Let's just mop that up. Oh, come on. And then the bow here. So I'm just wondering whether I just want to have any lace on here because you know me, just love to have a bit of lace. Whether I could have the lace under the bow. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Let's just ink that up a bit as well. So, right, I'm going to do that trick thing that Andrea over at Artie Maze does where I'm just going to put my... Oh, I think the lace on the wrong side. What a... What a poly. Right, okay. Oh, that fabric tap will just run and dry all over my hand now before I actually get to uh, glue it down. But, yeah. Okay, so pop that on there like that and then we're going to just glue that bow on here wondering sorry just going to quickly finish my smoothie I'm so sorry about this it was just calling me so I'm going to use the hot glue again you know trying to get this looking lumpy as if it's you know sticking up still pop that there Okay. Oh my goodness, how gorgeous does that piece look? And then, because this is one of those Gail Agostinelli um, inspired booklet pocket things, um, I'm wondering whether I could use a little bit more of that book actually in here. So I might be able to use a couple more birds because that would be tying it in really nicely, wouldn't it? So let's just see. I mean, obviously, actually, I'll just open this so I remember what the birds look like. I know. I've already forgotten what they look like. Um, <laughs> yeah, it would be good for, you know, I like to have things very matchy. So I'm thinking if I could find anything that would tie in. Not really, because they're all quite massive pictures now. Except for these ones, but they're black and white. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. Could use that, I suppose. Don't really feel like that's going to go. Mm -hmm. Just check. Oh, would you believe it? Would you believe it? Let's just take this one as well. So at least then I've got a couple of... Um, you know black and white kind of images so at least that kind of ties it in doesn't it that's not too bad maybe right let's just tear this down oh isn't this gorgeous it's a robin don't you love robins they're so cute i know that i've talked about this before but we have a robin that lives in our garden oh it's so cute it's so tiny i mean obviously it's fully grown it's lived there for ages i don't know how long birds last you know how long they live for um so I don't want to say anything really ridiculous just in case it's kind of like you know they don't live that long and clearly it's a different one I don't know but yeah <laughs> so I won't even kind of go there with how long it's lived in our garden but I feel like it's lived there for a long long time <laughs> who knows it might be a different one you know maybe they don't live that long and it's a different one but anyway to me it feels like it's the same one and it's just so cute I can't tell you how cute it is and it just kind of wanders out and, you know, has a wander about. I don't very often see it fly, to be honest. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I guess it probably does, but I wouldn't necessarily know that it was it, if you see what I mean. Um, but it's so sweet. I just absolutely love it. And um, did I ink that? No, I didn't. Um, yeah, it's so cute. And, oh, it just is the prettiest bird. 
again, I don't know whether it lives on its own, weirdly enough. I know that sounds strange as well. And again, maybe I'm not seeing the same one. But, you know, I think it is the same one. But I never see it with another bird. So I don't know whether that means it lives on its own. Maybe robins, you know, maybe they're a bird that live on their own. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, I only ever see it on its own. It's not like I ever see it, you know, like a pair of them or anything like that. But it's very, very cute. You know, every time I see it, I kind of think, oh, there's that gorgeous little robin. It's just, oh, just a gorgeous, gorgeous bird. Okie dokie. So we've got that robin there, and thinking, thinking again, maybe we could have, maybe we could have a little bow on the edge. This bow here, I'm so sorry, I just knocked the camera. Um, yeah, this bow here. Like that. So again, I'm filming ahead, and so this is actually during the summer holidays. So the kids are, well, they're not in bed. Well, they are in bed, but they're not asleep, perhaps I should say. So it's kind of early-ish, hence, you know, hence the postman. And, um, yeah, they're laying around, laying around kind of in bed. Oh, I love how that looks. Just having that bow kind of like raised up a little bit. It looks really cute, doesn't it? All right, let's tear this little portion of that newspaper down. Let's just have that on the facing page or something. Uh... Yeah, let's have that here. Because I don't want to have that other bird here. You know, I want the other bird over the page, if you see what I mean. So, just have that there. I love how that bow looks. That's so gorgeous. Whoops. So gorgeous. Okay. Just press that down. Try and be careful. I will try. I will try and be careful. You know, not to actually press it down so as it glues onto the image. Oh, it already had. So, yep. Lucky I remembered to uh, to do this. Oh, the amount of times that I glue things down on each other. I just never seem to learn. Never ever seem to learn. Right. So then we're going to have this one over the page. So. You know, so we've got like the continuity of the birds running right the way through. Oh, which one? I think I'm going to go for this one. I know I had originally said this. I'm not over keen on the picture. I'm not keen on these spiky things. I'm actually not keen on the spiky bit of the bird either. So, yeah, I'm going to go for this. Yeah, they're all being super quiet downstairs, aren't they? Honestly, I mean, you know, I know it's very naughty to kind of leave, um, you know, leave them on their devices and tablets. I mean, obviously my middle son, he's on his phone, my daughter's on her tablet, you know. But wow, it really does enable us to um, get on with things, doesn't it? It enables us to work and things like that. So yeah, got to kind of think, well, actually, where would we be these days without without those devices, you know? Definitely would not get half so much work done, that's for sure. It would be very, very difficult. So, yeah, although it's, you know, naughty, I mean, as long as they're not on them all the time, you know, I don't think it's too, too terrible. And, you know, I don't think it's possible really to kind of... Um, you know, just, yeah, function and get things done, to be honest, without a bit of help from from devices, really. So, yes, thank the Lord that we have those now. Right, let's just glue this one down. Just pop that 
Oops, pop that down there, like that. Oh, I should have done it on this side. I didn't even give that a thought. Would you believe? Just didn't even occur to me to put it that side. Okay. Right. And then just going to bring in got another vintage bit of newspaper. So just see what I've got and I think that you know I particularly want to use on here. Hmm. Not really. Oh well, perhaps we'll just try and tear out this this little message here. Okay. Thinking kind of along there. And then let's just have another bow because it seems it's all about the bows, isn't it, on here? So we'll just take another one, I think. Okay, just trim that down. Like that. Oops. Oh, come on. Right, let me just ink this bow up a bit, just because again I did ink the other ones up so just like that bit of consistency. Okay, so I'm just going to have that like that. Okay, put that there. Press that down. What have I done with my white pits there? And then I think we'll have that bow. Do we want it sideways or not that way? Oh, let's have it like that. So again, just... Okay, right, looking good. So, oops, just mop that up. Yay, okay, love how that looks. I mean, I probably want to put something here. I'm not quite sure, not quite sure what to have on this side. I wonder if we could just finish it off with a giant bow. And actually, I'm just thinking whether we could finish it off with a giant bow and then another bird image. Oh, I'm not sure. Um, or something else, news, newspapery. Let's just tear this down. I've been so loving using all this vintage newspaper, honestly. I'll be actually sorry when it's gone. So. Come on. Right, let me just ink this. Okay, and we will glue this one down. that and again press that down there and then again I'm just going to kind of put my little card in here because then if any glue's seeping out I'm not going to actually glue the pocket the pocket down so yeah it just enables me to kind of really press the glue but not worry about actually gluing it to the other side of the pocket if you see what I mean so yeah, I'll just press that down like that. Oh, I love how that looks, that's so gorgeous. Okay, so that's our little pocket booklet. I mean, I might put some more things on there as well. Um, but yeah, I'll probably call it quits for now. 
Um, so yeah, let's pull in the bits that we made. So we have made this gorgeous big journaling card. I absolutely love how that looks. It's so pretty, isn't it? And then we also made this pocket. Well, we didn't make the pocket to be fair. You know, we'd pulled it in from a sort of mass making session that we already had made. Um, and then we've got this gorgeous booklet, which, you know, we've just got that kind of continuity of theme running through there. So those are the pieces that we've made. So I hope that you like them. Um, obviously, I still have a ton, a ton of stuff in the book. We also have this page that I didn't get around to using. But yeah, I mean, I obviously still have quite a few images left to use in this book. So I will try and just continue and try and use them up over the next few days. Um, you know, so that I can then get rid of the book would be awesome. So yeah, hope that you like the bits that we made and um, maybe you feel inspired to make something similar or, you know, just decorate some of your pre-made pieces that we've done in Mass Makes. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys again soon. Thanks then. Bye.